The coming of Vega, Europe's third launcher, to Europe's spaceport, brings big changes to the launch complex. In addition to giving it a greater international dimension, there will be twice as many missions, from six to a dozen each year, with all three launchers, Ariane, Soyuz, and Vega, and these will call for a larger workforce, able to handle all three launch systems. Already, over 200 people have been added to the growing list of technicians and engineers. This site has the best launch infrastructure in the world. Close to the equator, it offers maximum velocity to space, a wide range of launch possibilities over the Atlantic Ocean, and state-of-the-art facilities manned by top professionals. Those missions here now will be much more diversified. Ariane 5 launches to a geostationary transfer orbit, which means toward the east. With Vega and Soyuz, however, launches will be more toward the north. All this means new or revamped structures at the base. There are two parts to each mission. Before the launcher can lift off, both launcher and satellites must be prepared. For this, the payload preparation buildings have been upgraded. But for the second half of each mission, the flight itself, entirely new facilities for following the launchers have been put in place. It's all part of a chain. Là donc ces de suivi de this is where sont our un new means for tracking the launch will not be unusual for 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 the launch will Setting up the teams who will work these new downrange tracking stations is the job of the range operations manager, who coordinates the operational people during both phases, preparation of the launcher and satellites, but also during the positive time chronology, following its trajectory with these teams until the end of the mission, which is satellite separation. C'est un travail énorme et euh, qui a nécessité pas mal d'allers-retours, également euh, des visites sur site euh, pour pouvoir mettre en place euh, des équipes spécifiques euh, pour euh, récupérer le signal de, de la télémesure euh, du lanceur. Je crois que tout euh, l'investissement de toutes les équipes opérationnelles pour, que, euh, pour la mise en œuvre de ce réseau de station aval euh, est quelque part une, je pense, une fierté pour, euh, pour toutes ces équipes et, et, et pour moi pour moi-même également, d'être le DDO de, de, de ce premier lancement for the new de Vega qualification euh, du lanceur Vega. Vega is the first entirely new vehicle to launch from French Guiana in over a decade. It's a long-awaited moment and a rewarding one for everyone involved at the space base. The Guinea Space Centre is not a director, it's all the teams who work here, from the European Space Agency, the French Space Agency, CNES, Ariane Space and our industrial partners. This makes us a family and it's our efficiency that has driven the success we had in 2011 and will lead us to the new successes in 2012. Vega will launch from the same spot where Ariane 1, Ariane 2 and Ariane 3 lifted off during the first decade of Europe's flights from the French Guiana base between 1979 and 1989. The historic launch pad has been rebuilt specially for the new Vega vehicle.